food. The food that we eat contains many things like proteins. Proteins are known as the building blocks of food. As you can see, the proteins also help us to grow. So these are known as the building blocks like the egg yolk. Next we have the carbohydrates which serve as the instant source of energy to us. So carbohydrates like the glucose are very helpful when you want, we want to gain instant energy. Then we have fats which are the stored form of energies. Right? With the food that we eat, the energy that is made inside our body is stored in the form of fats like in ghee. So ghee gives us energy but that gets stored in the form of fats. Vitamins and minerals are the accessories for that are required for our body. Next we have the balanced diet. A balanced diet means that all the nutrition that are required by our body should be taken in but in appropriate amount. So for balanced diet we should be having all kinds of nutrients but in proper amount like the rice, wheat, cereal. So we should be eating everything. What is cooking by the way? Our mother cooks delicious food, don't we? But uh, what do we define it as? See cooking is basically defined as the process by which tasty food items are prepared. Isn't it very simple? Yes. But can you tell me, do we need to cook all the food items that are available to us? I don't think so because items like the fruits can be eaten raw without even cooking them. So not necessarily we would cook everything and all the things. But cooking definitely makes the food very soft and it brings taste also because we add some spices to it. Now we have the food preservation. Now items, food items like the mangoes can be preserved in different forms and they can be consumed throughout the year. We have the ripe mangoes, we have the unripe mangoes and we have so many different things that have been made by these. These can be preserved with the help of preservatives. They help the microbes to stay inactive and that would prevent them to act. Like the sugar and the salt are the preservatives. So we have the unripe mangoes from which the pickles are made. So the pickles are made along with the mango pieces, the tamarind and some salt. So that makes the pickles and they don't really get damaged. Ripened mangoes can be used to form so many different things again like the squashes, the jams and jellies. But do you know how they are preserved? Again using some preservatives like sugar and jaggery. 